I'm Nicola Badalana from PixieHill.com and today I'm making Altoy tins jam-packed with Christmas magic. Trace the outside of your tin onto old paper and carefully cut out two pieces. These will line the inside of your tin. Cut a strip the same width as the depth of the bottom of your tin. This will line the sides. Glue these pieces into place. I'm using Mod Podge and doing my very best to make sure that there are no air pockets. I'd advise against covering the sides of the lid. I know it's tempting, but the overlap will hinder closing the lid properly. If you have a collection of items that you want to place inside your tin, put them inside and sort of plot where the dividers will need to go. cut some strips of cardboard. You want the width to be slightly smaller than the depth of your tin. Cover these strips with the same paper that you used to line the tin. Cut pieces of those strips to fit inside the tin, creating your divided areas. Using white glue here will give you a little working time to fiddle with the pieces until everything is in just the right position. You don't need to make a little niche for every item. Creating four or five divided areas in varying sizes is perfect for this project. When everything is lined up just so, use the tiniest drop of super glue to hold everything in place. But be aware that this type of glue can sometimes dry dark, looking as though the paper is wet, so you might want to do a test patch. To age and soften the interior, I'm applying a wash of white acrylic paint and adding a little bit of yellow ochre to the corners. While that dries, let's decorate the exterior. I've cut some scrapbook paper slightly smaller than the size of the tin and I'm inking the edges. I've also printed a Christmas themed label and I've cut that out too. After gluing those to the lid of my tin, I'm adding some pretty gold Dresden trims. Some thick white glue is applied to the corners and smoothed out with my finger. Then I'm smooshing some fake snow, also called buffalo snow, into the glue.
A dab of hot glue will hold some acrylic snowflakes in place. And a pretty bow finishes off the exterior. Now for those vials of Christmas magic. I've gathered a bunch of small glass vials in various sizes and shapes and I'll add some labels that I created. The labels have all sorts of holiday staples on them. Fruitcake, holly, sugar plums, tinsel, lumps of coal. I've also created labels for good cheer and Christmas spirit. I want to include a variety of items in each tin that I create. Then I'll fill the jars. North Pole snow, holly, and tinsel are packed inside. Wherever possible, I use the real item from the label to fill the vial, but make do and use your imagination. If you ask me, glitter is an excellent substitute for just about anything. Now to fill those little spaces with holiday joy. Use your imagination and include your own holiday magic in this project. Mini candy canes, chocolates, jingle bells, coins, whatever little bits you can find to fill these tins with good cheer. If you don't celebrate Christmas, you can absolutely make a version filled with little treasures from the holiday that you hold dear, or maybe even just small things that bring you joy. For more information and supply list, pop over to the blog link in the description. And remember, no matter how you spend this season or what you celebrate, I'm sending my best and warmest wishes to you. Happy Holidays. <laughs>